Hello, my brethren, and welcome again. Sometimes it takes a long time, or an injury in my case, to realize you actually need an upgrade in life. For far too long, I have not been giving my supple yet firm buttocks the attention that they deserve. Well, that has now changed. I actually needed a new chair, so I went and got one. From the aptly named Chairs for Gaming. I'm sure a lot of you know that these are not cheap, and when you make a significant investment like this that requires assembly, most people of reasonable intelligence want to make sure that they put it together correctly. The one negative that I've had with the receiving this chair is the instructions, or lack thereof. The only documentation included in the package was the sheet which shows how to install a plastic side cover. Well, thankfully the instructor, the illustration was descriptive enough because the language, well, you can see it's not really in line with the largest target audience. And the other side, yeah. Thankfully though, the internet still exists. And with it, I was able to go to DX Racer's website and pull up some instructions of a very similar chair. This is a no fault with chairs for gaming as they just ship the package that was sent to them. And that package is quite massive and heavy. When you unbox it, you begin to immediately see why. The base that the chair sits on is of a very clever design made from aluminum and of which at some time I will surely jam my toe on in the dark. The back and the bottom are framed in a thick steel. The casters it rolls on are quite beefy, as well as the hydraulic pump, which actuates it. And just look at the size of this thing. So, remember, I'm six foot tall, and it actually comes up higher than me. Quite nice. If and when a tornado does rip through your home, this chair may be one of the very few things left standing. The innards of the chair are filled with a high density cold foam, and it's not made for lounging like a lazy boy, but rather for endurance. For gaming. The armrest adjusts three dimensionally, up down, inside out, forward, backward, and the covering material is a PU leather which is easy to clean and Decorate it wonderfully. I mean, just just look at it. Very, very nice. Considering what I upgraded from, which would be a fold-up chair, Fuck you. this is definitely a step in the right direction. And honestly, it's like getting a throne after using a stone slab. I just may want to start marketing these things. If you wish your butt cheeks to be that of like heavenly pillows that angels themselves would rest their heads on, get a chair from Chairs for Gaming. If you are ugly and uncomfortable while you stream, now you can just be ugly. If you don't park your ass in one of these fine chairs, then you can just go fuck I like this chair. I actually like it a lot. Chairs for Gaming sent it out incredibly fast and their customer service was super responsive when I was communicating with them. I will have a link in the description of how to get this and you can use the code OMT which naturally stands for Original Magenta Tomato and you can get an additional 10% off. And stay tuned because there's a good chance I'll probably be giving one away in the future. So again, thank you very much for tuning in, and take care.